Hello everyone, so I've been running these T-Motor F60 2200 KV 2207 motors on my 6 inch butter quad for a while now, but um, the other day I crashed and somehow fried this motor even though it doesn't look damaged at all. And um, also I discovered with running Betaflight on the KISS flight controller with the motor test function that this motor up here is out of balance. You can see I've tried to um, balance it with tape, but that hasn't really worked well enough to get rid of all the vibrations in the footage. <clears throat> so with two motors down, I decided I should just go ahead and try out some new motors. So, <clears throat> these are the original F60 motors. So I have the F60 Pro motors. They're both 2207 stator size. They're both 2200 kV. Um, <clears throat> I'll just do a brief overview of what's changed. So, the whole profile of the Pro is a little bit shorter, so the prop mounts a few millimeters lower on the motor, so I think that also help um, in crashes, just having a lower profile motor. Um, the windings you can see on the Pro are silver plated. I'm not really sure if that's going to make a huge difference. It probably won't, but it's got that bling factor. Also, they're using arc magnets in this, and I'm not sure if the air grab is tighter, but it is very tight. Um, reminds me of the Emacs uh, RS line of motors, how tight they are. Also, the cogging is a lot um, more def uh, profound on the new ones compared to the old ones, so we'll see if that induces any oscillations. And they're still using the same 4mm hollow shaft. Um, and the e-clip on the bottom. I also noticed that the wire gauge on the Pro is slightly thicker so we're running 18 AWG compared to uh, 20 AWG on the original motors. So uh, these should be more powerful even though um, this quad was not lacking any power um, but we'll see how they feel. Hopefully I'll get a little more torque, a little more response but I'm gonna throw these motors on this quad and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so I got all the motors on the butter quad and they're looking pretty sweet right now. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys before I go out and break all of them. Another thing I noticed also when I was putting these on is that these are engraved, all the text and stuff on the sides, whereas on the old motors, it was just a sticker. So you can see on this one, it got all torn up so that shouldn't happen with these new motors. So the only thing left to do now is to fly them.
Okay, so now that you guys have seen how this thing flies, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it's like to be behind the sticks. So as far as power is concerned, these new F60 Pros are a little bit more powerful than the old F60s, and they also draw a few more amps. So on the Dow 6040 by blades, I'm pulling around 90 amps compared to on old motors, it was around 85 or so. So I think that's a fair trade-off. Where these motors really shine is in the responsiveness. So uh, just to give an idea of how much more responsive these motors are, I had to lower my p-value on my pitch and roll by 10 to get the feel I wanted. So these motors are definitely way more responsive than the old ones. I'd say that's definitely the biggest improvement over the old ones. Uh, and that responsiveness really makes this feel even more like a 5-inch quad. Um, it's really getting close to um, how snappy you can get a 5-inch to be. And I'm definitely content with how snappy this thing is. I don't really need it to be any more responsive. It's just good how it is running these props. Uh, one thing that I am thinking about here is that... Um, not a lot of development has been going into 6-inch stuff um, compared to all the 5-inch stuff that comes out, all the 5-inch props, the 5-inch motors. So given how well these things fly on 6-inch, uh, I'd like to see um, definitely some newer props because I have not seen much development in that compared to like all the Cyclone blades and like the Racecraft blades coming out. I'd like to see that kind of technology like the vortex management and the big scoop in the middle. I'd like to see that stuff come to the six inch quads because these props are so old and there's really not that much technology in them, but they still fly really good anyways. So I'd, it'd be interesting to see how good they could get a uh, six inch quad to fly and how fast I could get it to fly too because this thing is still really fast um, running these pretty basic props. So anyways, uh, those are some of my thoughts. One last thing to mention is that I'm still running Betaflight on the KISS flight controller. Um, I might not even switch back at this point just because of how well Betaflight flies on 6-inch. So if it's not broken, why fix it? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, I definitely would recommend these motors. Another option for motors would be the Hyperlite V4s. 22-6 motors, uh, the low KV variant because those are about seven grams lighter a piece than these motors but they don't have that bigger stator size so if you're looking for a lightweight build that might be a good option i haven't flown them and they don't have the bigger stator size so that's something that you can decide on but i would definitely re recommend building a six inch quad if you don't have one already and other than that that's about it like these motors um, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, get subscribed. And other than that, thanks for watching.